Hey everyone, Bullish Bears Kevin here. I've been getting a lot of requests on not how I find my supply and demand, but how I use Thinkorswim as a tool to chart supply and demand. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to our settings on the chart, the little gear icon right next to the time frame, and we're going to click that, and we want to make sure that we have snap to drawings. This wants to be on open, high, low, close, OHLC. It's usually set on none, but we want it on open, high, low, close, because when we're charting and trading something like ES, it moves in 0.25 increments, right? It moves in ticks. So we wouldn't want a trend line at 448802. We would want it at an even number. With that being said, you would go over to your tools and pick the price level, and you would find a demand zone to mark. So what I see right here is a demand zone because we have a red basing, a long wick on the bottom showing buying pressure, and then we have a rally afterwards. So I'm going to mark that out, and you see how the price line, it automatically clicks to it. So it'll be 44.56.25, and then I'm going to right click the trend line, and I'm going to make sure show name is on right. This is a 2 hour, so it do 2H, or if you guys want 2HR, whatever you prefer. And because this is a demand zone, I'm going to make it green. Now the next step is to mark out the actual zone itself. So we're going to come back to the tool icon, and we're going to click the rectangle. Now, because we have the open, high, low, close, this will also automatically connect. We're going to place it at the open, and then we're going to drag it down to the bottom, and it'll connect, but it's not going to look like it registered, but it did. What we're going to do is we're going to right-click on the rectangle, Edit Properties, and we're going to click this little calendar icon and just press it over a couple months. That way, it will extend it, and we'll be able to see our zone. And one last thing about the rectangle, guys, if you go under color, you're going to want to click more, HSL, and you're going to want to set the transparency to around 70, and then you're going to want to hit save as default. That way, when your candles come into there and price action comes into there, it's easier to read the candles. If we don't do the transparency, it's a little difficult to read the price action when the candles get into that zone. All right, I hope this helped, guys. Happy trading.